Hello friends, this video on exponents and powers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Can you now tell what are exponents? So exponent is a quantity that represents the power to which a given number is to be raised. Or in other words, we can tell that we can say that exponents tell us how many times can we use the number in multiplication? For example, let's say you have 2 to the power 4. So which is the exponent here? This 4 is the exponent because it tells us how many times we are supposed to use 2. How many times we are going to multiply 2 during multiplication. So it says 4 times. That means you take 4 2's and multiply them together. And here this value 2 is the base. So let us look at few more examples. So if I say 10 to the power 2, that means 10 into 10. So if I say 10 to the power 1, that means only one 10 needs to be there. If I say 5 to the power 10, that would mean 5 multiplied for 10 times. For 10 times. So on similar lines, we see that numbers like these, for example, 10 to the power 3, it actually repre represents 1000. Similarly, how would you represent 10,000? So 10,000 would be represented by 10 to the power 4, which would mean 10,000. So this is 10,000. If you say 10 to the power 5, what it would be? This is nothing but 1 lakh. So this represents 1 lakh. 10 to the power 6 would represent 10 lakhs. So in this way we see that using exponents we can actually represent bigger numbers in easier form or in small forms. So writing 10 to the power 6 is a lot easier than writing six zeros after one. So that's more tedious and that's more complicated than 10 to the power six, right? So this is how exponent helps us. So when you actually talk about these thousands and ten thousands and lakhs, you see, you, you, when you talk about money, so when you talk about thousand rupees, ten thousand rupees, one lakh or ten lakhs, so your money is increasing. So the zeros can make a lot of difference. You remove one zero from ten lakhs, it, it drops to one lakh. But there is a huge difference between one lakh and ten lakhs. So proper representation is very important. So instead of writing the zeros, if we represent it you like this, like 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 6 and so on. In that case, the confusion of the number of zeros would reduce. So this is about exponents. Now, the next question that might come to your mind is how do we read exponents? Now, let's say that you are reading a newspaper or you are reading a book where it is written that the moon is 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 kilometers away from the earth. So how did I read this? So when you have something like this, especially this part which has an exponent, so how exactly do we read it? So we read it as 10 to the power 5 or 10 raised to the power 5. So that actually means that the base is 10 and the power or the exponent is 5. So this is the way we read it. Now let, let's look at a few more examples. So how do you think we will read this? 10, obviously the base is 10 to the power 2. How would we read this? 10 to the power 3. So so I think let's write this. So this we would read this as 10 to the power 2. This would be read as 10 to the power 3. What about this? This would be 2 to the power 9. And what about this? This is minus 15 because these could be positive or negative integers. The base could be anything. So this is minus 15 to the power 4. So this is how we read exponents. Now 
Are there any alternate ways also of reading the exponents? Yes, there are. So let us look at some alternate ways. So 10 to the power 2 can also be read as 10 squared. Why? Because you have two tens, so we say 10 squared. Similarly, when you have three tens, we say that 10 cubed. Why cubed? You remember, how does a cube look like? So a cube is that figure which has length, breadth and height equal. So all the three dimensions are equal. That is why when the same number that is 10 is getting multiplied for three times, it is called 10 cubed. Similarly, why it is called 10 squared? Because when you look at a square, you see that both the length and the breadth, that is two dimensions are equal. So it is since here also 10, the same number is getting multiplied two times, it is called 10 squared. What about uh, maybe 10 to the power 4 or 2 to the power 9? How can you read this? Because it is neither squared nor cubed. So 2 to the power 9 can also be read as 9th power of 2. That means 9 is the power to 2. So 9th power of 2. Similarly, can you tell me what, how, would, how else can you read minus 15 to the power 4? So this would be 4th power of minus 15. So these are the various ways in which you can read exponents. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.